Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next training session which is on the kernel upgrade. That is how we are going to upgrade SAP kernel in an ABAP system. Okay, to upgrade a SAP kernel in an ABAP system, first thing is we need to find out the software, kernel software that we need to install. Okay, to find out that software, let me show you how, what is the way we can scroll in into the marketplace. So the first and the foremost step is we need to go to the SAP marketplace. So this is the SAP marketplace. So let me connect to SAP marketplace and show you guys how to go to SAP marketplace. Okay, so here you can see is service.sap.com. That is the SAP marketplace. Okay, now you can click on the software do downloads. Okay, under software downloads, what you need to do is you need to go under support packages and patches and under that you can go for say browse our download catalog. Okay, under that you can see the different components over there but we are interested in the additional component which has SAP kernel. So let me expand this particular folder and here you can see this is the SAP kernel here just click on that and now here what you need to do is you can see the different flavors of kernel basically let's say this is our kernel which is SAP kernel 64-bit unicode here you can see which is non-unicode one 432-bit unicode and non-unicode so let's go with the unicode system Okay, now here you can see there are different versions of kernel. Say for example, you have SAP kernel for 640, 64-bit, 640 EXT kernel. So what is an EXT kernel? EXT kernel or is basically when we are doing an upgrade. Okay, so that is the time during a transition from one version to the another version we upgraded to a EXT version. Okay, so that is about the EXT version. Say for example, let's download this 720 EXT 64-bit Unicode. Okay, if we click on this, here you can see for this particular kernel, there, this kernel is for, you can select it if your OS is say AIX, if your OS is say HPUX, Linux, depending on what type of operating system you want to upgrade the kernel for. So in this case, say for example, I have a Windows on x64 bit. Okay, and under that, I need to find out which database that I'm interested in. Okay, so here you can see there is something called database independent. So database independent basically it will show you the SAP EXE files which is same for all the database platform irrespective of whether it is an Oracle or MaxDB or SQL. So let's see how it looks like and how to select that particular file. Click on the date changed. Okay, when you click on the date changed, we are interested in a file called SAP EXE. Okay, so this is your SAP EXE file. Let's select this and what we'll do is we will go to the bottom and add this file into the download basket. Okay, so let's add this file into the download basket. Okay, here you can see that the download basket request for update has been processed. Okay, so the file has been added to the download basket. Let me close this tab. Now let's go to the database specific kernel file. So let me go to Oracle. Say for example, my database is Oracle. So let me click on Oracle and at the bottom you will see the SAP EXE DB file that we are looking for. So just click on the date modified so that we are picking up the latest version of SAP EXT db file here you can see this is your sap exe db file okay so let's select this file and after selection we need to go to the bottom and click on add to the download basket 
okay after this has been added to the download basket what I need to do is I need to go to the download basket so let me click on the download basket okay in the download basket if I expand this particular tab what it shows it shows me two files that I have just downloaded so let me select all okay let's select all and we can say either we can go to the download manager and download these files or I can well, if the download is complete automatically it will be removed from here and it will come here under the download history so under the download history it will show you that which are the files you have downloaded so far okay in the next tab you can see this is an approval list that is when you download certain files which requires an approval so for those files what you need to do is you need to go to SAP solution manager go to the maintenance optimizer transaction and under maintenance optimizer transaction uh, you need to go for your solution and find out for the software that you are running find out what is the uh, what version you are looking for which SID you want to upgrade just select that and you can go to approval tab and such and approve the files okay so that is on the download basket so in this particular case my interest is I've gone to the download manager and downloaded these files or I can just if suppose there are a lot of other junk is there you want it to be clean what you can do is you can just select all and you can delete these files so that the download man basket is empty okay so that is on the downloading of the file so so far what I have seen we have seen is how to go to marketplace SAP marketplace how to find out the specific kernel files that we need for the particular version of SAP and database that you are running and how to download those files using a download manager okay so that is on the downloading of the files now let me go to the ppt and show you what are the next steps for kernel upgrades so just let me click on this ppt file and let me walk through with you so as next step what we need to do is so we just saw this particular page which is showing you how you can download the kernel files from SAP marketplace okay here these are showing some of the key files which we saw in the SAP marketplace that is basically when you extract kernel you can see these files as well okay then let's go to the next page where some key things before we can apply kernel patches the most important thing is make sure that you are backing up the kernel folder okay kernel folder basically it is at two locations one is slash SAP MNT SID exe folder and you can go to the kernel folder as well so these are the two locations that we need to make sure that we back it up okay then once the backup is done what we need to do is we need to shut down SAP we need to shut down Oracle instance we just need to make sure that the SAP OS collector that is the SAP OS call and the Oracle listener is down during the upgrade of SAP kernel okay so these are the things to note which is very important Okay, next is I'm showing you the steps There's, this is basically for a Unix system but Windows system is exactly the same only thing is the folder name changes okay so first thing is login as a CDADM user stop SAP stop Oracle stop OS collector stop Oracle listener clean IPC and this is the system number say for example if you have system number say 01 it will be clean IPC 01 depending on what is the system number this is just to make sure that the IPC protocol the IPC shared memory and mess messages and semaphores are clean there is nothing in the queue okay now create a new directory say for example new kernel 
copy the download kernels there and extract these files okay so after that you can switch to a new kernel and just run this command called root dos sh which will make sure that all the permissions are set correctly okay that was on how we can apply or upgrade the kernel okay, next thing is we need to validate whether the kernel that we have applied we have upgraded we have applied the patch is in working condition or not so to do, do that what we need to do is we need to run stop sap then you need to do start sap as user cdadm and just to make sure that the sap has started properly just search for the processes which is sap or ora just to make sure that it is up and running okay then there are few commands that you can use we can go to login to sap and we can check whether sap sm50 is working 51 is working sm21 is working st22 is working db13 is working so they are some checks which gives an indication of whether the system is working properly after the kernel upgrade or not okay that's all i wanted to cover in this particular training session thanks thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye